This is Norm Christofferson, Senior Training Technologist with Johnson Controls. In this short video presentation, we will discuss how the shape of a valve plug determines the flow through a valve. It turns out that in many applications, which plug shape is selected makes a great deal of difference. What we're talking about is called valve trim. So let's take a look. We will use this illustration of a valve in our quick study on valve trim. Let's draw our attention to the valve seat and plug. When the valve stem is stroked, the valve plug moves in and out of the seat, thus varying the water flow through the valve. The valve stem may be stroked anywhere between totally closed to completely open or anywhere in between. The illustration on the left shows three different plug shapes. A valve has one of the three. The very shallow plug is called a quick opening plug. The plug shape shown just below it is our linear plug. The linear plug is more cone shaped. The plug at the bottom of our sketch, the thick one, is called an equal percentage plug. Now let's look at the graph on the right. First look at the quick opening plug. Notice we have a stem lift or valve stroke on the bottom of the graph and the percentage of water flow on the left of the graph. When the quick opening plug is stroked only 25 percent, the flow through the valve is about or almost 75 percent. When stroked 50 percent, the flow is nearly 80 percent. A minimal movement of valve stem lift results in a very large change in water flow. Moving on to the linear plug on our graph, we can see that stroking the valve 25 percent results in a 25 percent flow rate. Stroking the valve stem 50 percent results in a 50 percent water flow and a 75 percent flow rate for a 75 percent valve stem lift or stroke. Clearly, we have a linear stroke to flow relationship. Finally, let's look at the equal percentage plug. The equal percentage plug is slow. A 25 percent stem lift or stroke only results in around 6 or perhaps 8 percent water flow rate. A 50 percent lift results in about 12 percent flow and a 75 percent lift results in about 30 percent flow through the valve. Pause for a moment and ask yourself, which plug would you want in a valve to control water flow? Many people choose the linear shaped plug as the logical choice. Linear is the incorrect choice. As we shall discover, the equal percentage plug is most often the best choice for good flow control. In this illustration, we have a coil in a duct with a fan to move air across the coil. We will be heating the air with hot water going through the coil. We have a heating valve feeding the coil with our hot water. Now let's put some numbers to our system. We are going to allow one pound of water to flow through the coil in this example. The specific heat of water is one BTU. It, that is, it takes one BTU to change the temperature of one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. So we're going to limit the flow to one pound of water. In addition, we're going to allow for a one degree temperature change in the water. That means one BTU is involved. So the water is going to cool off by one degree Fahrenheit and it is also going to be giving up one BTU out of the water and into the air. At the same time we will pass one pound of air across the coil. The specific heat of air is 0.24 that is, it takes 0.24 BTU to change the temperature of one pound of air by one degree Fahrenheit. 0.24 BTU is very close to a quarter of a BTU. So since the pound of water is giving up a BTU, the air is gaining a BTU. So by how many degrees is the air temperature increasing? If you said four degrees, you are correct. This is a 4 to 1 ratio in temperature rise between water and air. A small change in water flow results in a large change in air temperature. This is the result we get if our valve uses a linear plug. If you are familiar with control loop tuning, you may recognize that this valve plug is not tunable. It turns out that what we want is for the heat transfer to be linear. The equal percentage plug will bring the heat transfer into a linear relationship with the valve stroke and we gain control. For best control using hot or chilled water to heat or cool air, use an equal percentage plug. This is Norm Christofferson. Thanks for watching.